All right. Traveling with girlfriend slash fiance. Uh, hey, Billy Bourdain, I have to disagree with your advice from last week for the guy with the sound engineering job. He said he was a sound engineer in the letter you read out loud. Then later in your response, you mentioned something about building bridges and then again on Twitter. Just a heads up. Dude, this guy is fucking relentless. Some of you guys, you're fucking relentless. Like reprimanding me. All right, so I fucked this fucking thing up. So let me guess. Okay, I think if he's planning on... Sp- I like how you think that being a sound engineer, even though I fucked it up, like that's not a, that's not a quality job. You know what I mean? What do you know? What you, you'd be working in films, right? Isn't that what that job is? Recording bands? That's a fucking great job, and it's a hard... You know what? I'm going to look it up right now before I get another fucking 20 goddamn tweets and emails from you. Sound engineer. An audio engineer working with technical aspects of sound during the process of recording, mixing, and reproduction. Audio engineers often assist with record producers and musicians to help give their work the sound they are hoping to achieve. Yeah, that's a fucking badass job that people want to do. All right. Let me get back here. So here we go. I think if he's planning on spending his life with this girl, traveling and having a great time would be a make or break deal for marriage. She said she wanted to travel a year. Suppose it's only seven months and they go to seven continents. They even go to us. They even go to fucking Antarctica. Okay. Over the course of a year, they get to bang in seven continents in a year, eat amazing food, see amazing things and pretty much live their lives like it's a movie. You looked at the negative side, which is fair, but also how often do these things happen? I'd hate to be the guy that didn't take that chance if it were presented. God knows I would. Of course, it all depends on their attitudes and if they're fun, people with positive outlooks and good communication. Food for thought. Hey, dude, just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean I went the negative route. I was giving him advice from my hat, which is fucking positive. I'm saying he's got a great job that he was nervous about fucking leaving. Those are his words, not mine. To then, and this is another thing too, dude. You're a fucking man. Okay? If you're not making money, it's not like you can make a baby other than dump your jizz in somebody. You need a, like, women can literally create life. Okay? You like the butter in the fucking pan. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. I feel like the man should make a fucking living. You got to come home and you got to make enough money that your woman and your family is fucking comfortable. And if you're doing that, you're a fucking man. All right. If you want to go travel around the world on some woman's fucking dime and leave your career behind for a fucking year, a critical goddamn year and have to start all over again. I, I think that's nuts. I think that's fucking nuts. All right? Agree to disagree. I can tell you this, dude. When I started out doing stand-up, I was doing this shit every single fucking night. Every night, I had a singular focus. What I was trying to do was a job that a lot of people would like to do. So it took a ridiculous level of commitment. And I watched people who didn't fucking travel the world, didn't even have that fucking option. But I watched people not work at it as hard as they could have. And 20 years later, I see the results of that. So that's all I'm saying with this guy. To, uh, you know, to put play before work is just not how I'm wired. You know what I mean? Um, You're making it seem like this guy, if he takes the sound engineering job, will never have the money or never have the option to do, to go around and travel the world. I don't know. I just feel like as as me personally, if I was going to travel the world, it's got to be on my fucking dime. Okay? And my I, my life has to be a, in a place where I can leave it for a fucking year. If I'm just getting started in a career and I'm just starting to push that fucking rock up the hill and I'm going to go fucking leave and play footsie with some chick, even if she's going to be the chick I'm going to fucking marry for an entire goddamn year, then I'm going to come back and start all over again. Um, I would be going out of my fucking mind. I have to be honest with you, too. Uh, as much as I've traveled, 
there's always a point, and it's usually anywhere between seven to ten days into the trip where I just want to go home. I want to sleep in my own bed. I want to be fucking, you know, hanging out with my dog. And not to mention that, I love being a comedian. I want to do some shows. It's fun. So agree to disagree, sir. Agree to disagree, all right? Food for thought. Ugh. Did you type that wearing a sweater with candles on in the background? Candles on? Candles lit? Okay. He said, and go to Cape Carp yourself. Carpe? I don't know what it is. Go seize yourself like Carpe Diem. Okay, go Carpe. Okay, I just can't bear to have you not get the reference and hope someone writes in about it next week. Sorry, thanks. Oh, go Carpe yourself. Oh, I thought it said go to Carpe. Go Carpe yourself. Carpe Diem. Yeah, see, I love how seize the day is just fuck off to your life and go travel around the world. And like seize the day isn't like, you know what? I've made inroads in this really difficult line of work. And I'm going to stick with this. Dude, I fucking, you know something? I started out with comics who did that. And stayed home with their family and watched the fucking Patriots game instead of going out and going doing a hell gig. I'm telling you, it all fucking matters. It all matters. Wait, what would I know? What the fuck do I know? You know? I did it the way I did it. I'm not, I'm, I, yeah. I'm not fucking traveling the world on somebody else's inheritance. What kind of a fucking bum am I? <laughs> I'm not fucking doing that. What fun am I? You know what? I'll do that if you give me a pair of fucking gold digging pumps and I'll fucking walk, the, walk around in those all goddamn year. I'm, I'm going to travel the world. I'm fucking paying for it. Um, I think that says something about you, too, if you feel like, you, you know, you don't have any problem going around the fucking world on somebody else's dime. I want to earn it. 